Troops Week, the NBA and Fanatics created Hoops for Troops shirts with all NBA proceeds benefiting the USO. Visit the NBAstore.com to get your Hoops for Troops shirt today. That's awesome. What do you say we head to Milwaukee? Man, this guy is Bucks taking on the Bulls. This guy just uh, just just plays basketball. Going to be interesting to see the Bucks now without Gunther oh. Middleton for several weeks. I think they have enough shooting to carry him for some weeks. Oh, and Bledsoe's played great the last two games. He just got to pick it up a little bit. Right, right. Kobe White. Uh, we're going to have some numbers on his three-point shooting over the last couple of games. And Man, the new Michael Adams. He had seven of them in the fourth quarter of their last game and picked right up where he left off. Oh, there's a three. Oh, you don't rotate to that. Uh, that's, that's what I was thinking, Shaq. I'll tell you what, I, I put a lot of pressure on Eric Blesso. He's got to really pick it up. Man. Uh, and that's my man from Philly. Uh, stop the ball. Rotate. <laughs> that's my man Dante DiVincenzo oh, from yeah. Villanova. There we go again. DiVincenzo. Well, Eric oh, Bledsoe. Ooh, nice lefty. Third quarter, 10 points in this fourth quarter. Zach Levine. Oh, great. oh my goodness. This is uh, a different a type of highlight. Three. A good team earning and a, and a team that's struggling or mediocre. It's just a different type of highlight. It's more bees, fantastic plays instead of outstanding basketball movement play. All that noise you're talking, they're only down five. Cut it out. They lost, but. Final score, 124 to 115. Bucks have won their last three at home. Seventh time that uh, Giannis has had 30 this year. That's unbelievable. Six 38 to 16, Shaq. Yeah. Rebounds. That's uh, Shaq-like numbers. And Bledsoe oh. with a season-high 31 points. He's, he got to pick it up now that uh, Middleton is out. Now, on Kobe White, yeah. uh, so 27 points the other night, 26 tonight, and you see the three-pointers. Get a load of this. When the season started, he went 11 for his first 55 from three. Then came the fourth quarter the other night, and the first two quarters tonight, he went 12 for 16. Yeah. That's called shooting, Ernie. Well, <laughs> it's called going from a 20% shooter okay. well, from three. I, I think – I think with Kobe, obviously, I had an opportunity to watch him play at the University of North Carolina last year a lot. And um, he was a really good college three-point shooter. But it was a lot off the dribble. And I think the adjustment of coming down and making moves and shooting off the dribble took him this long to be like, oh, this is how I have to do it. It is a different rhythm shot. He's a good shooter, but I think – the extension of the line, I don't know if early on he was he was accustomed to. And we'll see if he keeps it up. Hopefully oh, he does. Only rookie in NBA history with at least six threes in consecutive games. Wow. wow. I was actually watching that game when he went off in the fourth quarter. He's been struggling a little bit, but he saw a familiar face. And uh, Roy Coach Williams. Williams and, yeah. You know, he hit, a, he Flew hit up. one or two, was playing well, and now uh, he he's, uh, seemed to have his confidence back. So. Yeah. That's five That's five highlights down. There were six games on the night. So the only other one started early in Cleveland because the Browns were playing at night. And it was the, uh, uh, well, the Cavs at home against the Heat. I'll tell you what, man. I got a shout out. Miami is playing great. Great. Too much dribbling there. Ball movement by this dude, none, and he he rolled a rookies coming in. We obviously Buckler. That's my man. They just let it go, man. They just like, nah, you better. They play like, hard. That's a Fan great pass. Hey, that is a play that good teams make. He could have tried to force that shot, none, but good teams don't force it. Out of bio at 16, 15. They play so hard, Ernie. Mm. And they post you up, they shoot the three. And they're seven threes. Five in, in between game. And I tell you, that boy right there, seven got, he got caught like in for day. Oh. Love that. I heard Jimmy Butler say about his confidence. He said he was supposed to be guarding. Someone's like, no, 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 I got him. He's like, wait, wait, oh. Jimmy Butler, don't you realize? <laughs> Miami leads by as many as 27. They never they trail look. in the game, and they beat the Cavs. What is Cleveland? The 97, they're eight and three. What is Cleveland doing with Kevin Love? What do you mean? What are they doing? They got to trade him points. and start to rebuild. Well, you know. I mean, he's, he's one of the better players in the league. He just died on the vine there. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, you, you, that's from the player's perspective, not from the team perspective. Well, the team is, yeah, yeah the team got to, at some point, you have to realize having a great player on your team and you're not going to be any good. Why are you keeping it? Get some draft picks and stuff. Maybe it's not that time yet. So, um, 
Group Paul, Paul official. Up. Land of the Giants. Oh, that's what I did. That's Kurt Cobain on my left. Wow, that's Kurt Cobain. That's Kurt Cobain. That, that makes that picture really uh, not it, not as weird as Ru Paul, Kurt yeah. Cobain, and Muggsy Bowl is me. That's really cool. Yeah, I like I wow. said. Kurt, yeah. Having Kurt Cobain. They, when I, the first time I hosted Saturday Night Live, uh, they were the musical guests. Who, wait, RuPaul was? No, no. Need, Ru, do you uh, have that picture? I do not have you that need picture. need that picture, man. RuPaul. Uh, uh, Why was RuPaul there? Just because uh, talented. You're a, you a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan. Okay. I, am. Right. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. Shaq and a fool. I am a fan of RuPaul. I just think you're way next to here on the show. Oh. Is my boy Charles Barkley wearing thong slacks? <laughs> Why would you even like post that? Because he a crazy. I didn't do that. It was, uh, I didn't do that. It was light skin Jermaine and Ro Paris. It's in your account. No, you? they stole my phone and they posted. Oh, it. Yeah. oh you got they stole, stole my phone. And posted Somebody it. hacked his account. Ain't nothing safe around. <laughs> That's okay, brothers. That's you Charles. You can't be cutting butt hey, out. Hey, nothing, nothing can ruin my weekend. Charles, big what? weekend uh, for the Barkley. Charles. And the, let me run your Instagram. Let Kim run your Twitter. Not gonna do social media, brother. You don't have to do it. Let us no. run the phone. Not gonna give no insane man a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what giving you my Twitter account would be like. <laughs> By the way, it's time for this week's Good edition point. of <laughs> Shacked and a Fool. He's Shacked and a Fool. Uh -oh. What? <laughs> uh -oh. What? He's Shacked and a Fool. I'm what? not gonna let that dude have my Twitter. <laughs> In that dumb, the dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, PJ Tucker. All those shoes and no brakes. Come on. <laughs> oh, and he runs into. Who put that there? You don't realize there's a stance in it. That's why he missed the layup. Oh, oh PJ. Oh, he missed the layup. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at uh, oh. hey, Russ. <laughs> Number three, DeJounte Murray. From the Eric Bledsoe School of Inbounding. <laughs> oh, my God. What are y'all doing, man? Pop is holding over his legs. Uh, there's that one moment of what? And he was standing out of bounds already. Oh, you know, my he's God. Look at his right foot was out of bounds already. Congratulations, Tony Parker. Uh, hey, ball. Hey, ball. <laughs> that's, oh, that's classic. Number two, Antonius Caldwell Pope. You know what KCP? Oh, you know me. You know what KCP? <laughs> oh, you know me. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my hair, bro. Oh, layup. Come on, he's not in it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, Wedgie. Oh, Wedgie. That's four three points that he could have had. Oh, Yep. Come on. And number one, Tristan Thompson. Oh, uh, how was he in? The worst decision since Chuck's thong slacks. Uh, oh, give it to him. Uh, Check out the handles, though. Yeah, pass it ahead. He's not passing nope, it. Nope. He's got two oh, no, cards no, right no. ahead of him. Nope. nope. He's got two cards ahead of him. Darius and Colin Simon. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Hey. Uh, uh, oh, oh, spin move. Oh, what? Wait. Spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. But wait, oh, how much time was on the shot clock? About seven seconds. Oh, spin uh, on him. Oh, got him. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, uh, what you say, Chuck? Oh, that's a tough hell? call right there. No, that man. ain't a tough call. That is a tough uh, call with man, those four. Very nice. is, isn't he right-handed too? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, remember he actually remember he learned to shoot right-handed for free throws. But he's a natural lefty, remember? But he shot a three-point with his left. He shoots three <laughs> throws. Oh, that's what, he's really out of here. Yo, he, hey Tristan, you really out of here. Man. That's he crazy. Shot a long, if he was going to shoot the game, I, you know what? And he shoots free throws right. Right but you got to take a left-handed three? Remember when he took a year to learn to shoot free throws right-handed? That's crazy, isn't it? You ever seen a player do that? Uh, and that, made, that made the NBA? Yeah. No, That's not that made the NBA. Yeah. I've seen kids oh. who never made it. <laughs> He'll never make it doing uh, that. Uh, we'll be back to wrap things up on uh, Inside in uh, just a moment. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got a wedgie, too? I didn't know. No, no I don't package know. in the mail, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> no package. <laughs> I think you no said that back. <laughs> oh, Can we make it one more segment? No mail in the package? Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. No, you said that. Sponsorship since. Come on, Ernie. It's embarrassing, Ernie. And speaking of 1989, uh, November 14th, this date then? in NBA history, uh, well, Chuck will show you the video. Sixers taking on the Celtics. And you working on Kevin McHale and oh. Larry Bird. Need to get it to go? No book. 
McHale. Ties the game. Oh, nice move, Chuck. Thank you, brother. Nice little jump start. Kevin too. McHale, the best player I ever played against. Uh -oh. But then this happened. Oh, I should have got that ball. Oh, Chuck, what is your I choice? Got that. I got die for the ball. Yeah. I thought I had Larry Bird. Come on. What's wrong with you? Man? <laughs> Staying that damn, you had it. That damn Larry Bird. You had it. <laughs> you had a front row seat to watch the game winner. That's what you had. Mm -hmm. Floor seat. He had a floor Come seat. That's Come on, Larry Bird. Why would you die, though, Chuck? Yeah, stop stop behind him. him. That, that, no, I thought I had the ball. Yeah, obviously. Uh, you know Mike uh, Camerlingo? Oh, here we I go. I thought I had this ball. Look how oh. close I was. Oh, you were right there. Uh, he almost missed no, this. Larry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, you know if you miss that pass, you're going to lose the game. Right? Oh, we did. <laughs> I can't just say. As I was saying, Mike Camerlingo, you know Mike Camerlingo? He's a comedian. And he does these things called 60-second classics, which is he will take a movie and give you the whole story in 60 seconds. Are you serious? Yeah, they're really good. I want to see it. No, well, you've got to look those up. And, <laughs> yeah, I want to see what you want to take out 60 well, seconds. Well, we don't have a sample? Huh? Well, we no. could, but he's actually, because he does that, he's also looked at 30 years of Inside the NBA. Oh, my goodness. And he has boiled that down to 60 seconds. No way. Wow. I haven't seen this. You haven't seen uh, this. You haven't seen it. Oh, Can't wait. Goodness. It's the 30th anniversary of Inside the NBA, and like any 30th anniversary, it's time to break out the bubbly and promise you'll stay together forever, even if a better looking ass comes along. In the beginning, there was Fred, Hannah, Craig, Vince, and Tim, all taking a turn in the host chair. But then Ernie showed up, looking like the bad guy in a Disney movie, and said, I'll take things from here. Kenny the Jet came aboard, and Chuck put on his youth pastor outfit, and the gang was ready. And what do you do when you have the perfect amount of chaos? Add Shaq to the mix, and hold your breath, because things are going to get even weirder. EJ drained threes, the big fella needed a life alert bracelet, and we all wondered if Kenny would ever walk again. The guys hit the open seas, and well, well, that's just asking for the old dead fish toss. Shaq ate a fire chip, Barkley battled the scale, and Kenny got the bye-bye-bye treatment from a dude with frosted tips. They won awards, retired jerseys, and ran an exclusive club. And after 30 years, Inside the NBA is as good as ever, giving us a nightly dose of basketball, laughs, and whatever the hell this is. So Ernie, Chuck, Kenny, and Shaq, raise your glasses and make plans for the 40th anniversary, because there's nobody that can break up this dream team. Well, almost nobody. <laughs> That was good. That was good. Thank was really you very good. much for doing that. Was that was very we, good. We enjoyed that treatment. Very nice. What's you his can, name? Uh, M. Mike Camerlengo. So he does at, movies? At M. Camerlengo. C A M E R L E N G O. Camerlengo on Twitter. That's I got to find him. There's Twitter. You don't use Twitter. So I, I, well, I, got, I can go to. I, I'll show you something right after, before we leave. When he when he wraps up uh, the Karate Kid in 60 seconds, okay, which is, I which see is hilarious. That. Anyway, uh, that's a wrap for Inside the NBA. Jeez, uh, the countdown is almost here till Georgia and Auburn on Saturday hey, afternoon. Hey, come on down to Auburn. Tickets on Chuck. Tickets on Chuck. We go. Hey, we can. Are you going to the game? game? Huh? Going to the game? Yeah. You'll be there? Yeah, I'm going down to God's country. Are you going to talk to the you team got me before if I the show game? up? No, no, no. I'm not, oh, I, I say that for the iron ball. That guy has a question. <laughs> okay. If I show up, you got me? I got you, brother. On the field or I'm going to be in the suite? Uh, we're going we're gonna to be in. Oh, my. Come on, man. Don't yeah, lose Way to reach for the revolve. Game went on the line. Stay oh, home. going to be in the field or in the suite? No, I, I go to a suite. I don't go on the field. Oh, man. Oh, man. See you next week, everybody. I don't know.